Hello everybody, this is Susie Schulten with Midget Realty. I am at 26837 Colony Drive in Hatter, in, sorry, Salvo, North Carolina. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath house on a 10,000 square foot lot. It's about an 1,800 square foot house. Currently, as of today, September the 4th, they are asking $599,000. It's been on the market about 10 days. This house is approximately fifth row, so four lots back from the ocean. And as you can see, it is an octagon shape. So that's one we haven't seen too much of. We do have a lot of them down here. This house was built in 1984. Typically these homes are kits. See them underneath construction here, rather unique. There are two types of homes that are kit homes in this shape. One is an topsider home and that is just like the shoes. And those are typically on a pedestal. Let's take a look at the outside shower while we're down here. Those are on a pedestal in the center like an umbrella or a mushroom. There's a hole there. That's easy to fix. And the others, which this looks to be, are Dell Tech homes. And Dell Tech homes are on traditional pilings all the way around, just like this. Now this home was originally on a well, so there's a fish cleaning table here. And this would have been the area where the well pump was. No longer here, it is now connected to county water. Here's a view of the surrounding. There's a big home there. Here's the septic system and HVAC. So it sits pretty far back on the lot. Um, the easiest way to get to the beach is to cut through back here to this street, which is Tar Heel Court, and walk down to their beach, ac beach access. It is a gravel shared driveway with the house next door, which is oddly stuccoed. All right. Everything is original 1984 here. So these stairs, you know, got some split stringers. They've been power washed. Everything's been cleaned. Let's take a look inside this unusual octagon house. Okay, so spiral staircase up to the second floor right as you come in the door here. And it is the only staircase inside. There is an exterior staircase. And you've got a little storage closet right here as you come in the door. And this is like a ceramic tile floor. It's not, not vinyl, it's ceramic. windows immediately to the left of that is the laundry room utility area with the hot water heater and very nicely decorated they've painted all of the wood walls and modernized everything nice big king size bed in this bedroom here ceilings are not tremendously high but they're not super low either I'm, I can't I can't touch them there is carpet in the bedroom. It's like a textured carpet. And of course these houses, these style always have like weird little corners. This is a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's all been remodeled. And then tile again on the floor. This has shower surround in here and then that opens into another bedroom that they have set up as two twins this house is not currently a rental i don't know if they're just using it for family and friends again same carpet throughout that's the street the tar hill court that they suggest is easier access quicker access to the beach and I would assume that the lot goes all the way back to the street. And the septic's out front. All right, into the 
primary bedroom, another king size bed. So we have two bedrooms with king size beds and one set up for kids. And there's that staircase that leads up the back side of the house. That would be the easiest way to get furniture in and out for the upstairs. These bedrooms are spacious. There's a lot of room in these rooms. It's very comfortable living. And then this has a fully remodeled bathroom with a shower that's all tiled in. Tile on the floor. And then you have the vanity, double sinks, new light fixtures. The only thing that's missing in here is the fan. And it looks like they're getting to that. They're really pretty, bright, white, almost like the, a little bit of shabby chic feel to it. Beachy chic, I guess you could say. Not much of a view of anything from this level of the house. And again, the ceilings are textured like normal um, drywall out here, but not popcorn. All right, moving back through the hall to the stairs and headed on up to the second level. Now it's one HVAC for both floors. So that could mean that the downstairs is cold and the upstairs is hot, which is exactly what I'm experiencing. It's been in the mid to upper 70s today, so not really hot, but also um, not cold. This floor up here is a laminate. It is not vinyl plank. It is some sort of wood laminate. Big, giant, open room. They've redone the whole kitchen, tile backsplash, new appliances, and you do get the vaulted ceiling in these houses, in most cases. This house does come furnished. There are a few items they are taking and that is available to see on the bill of sale. Typically our homes sell furnished for a bill of sale of $1. Not much of an ocean view, and that is not unusual in Salvo because the dunes are really high. You gotta check out this funky light fixture. The dunes are really high, so even the homes that are ocean front don't have a great ocean front view. This bathroom, they have not completely remodeled. The floor is new, but everything in here looks pretty acceptable. They have replaced the commode because it's a, a long one. And you can see that window has a little bit of fogging on it, but really it's a half bath. Get a better look in here. The cabinets in the kitchen look like they've just been painted, but the appliances are new. And that's nice. Tons of space, like you've got a table here table there, large seating area, just really comfortable, really nice room in this house. All right, let's check out the deck. And again, you can see this deck is pretty much near the end of its life. There's a lot of splintering going on. So that's something that's probably going to need to be replaced. And it's not a dis not a small deck. There's ample space out here. The ocean is just right over there and the ocean access, you can't really see it, but it's right. Let's see if I can get my finger in here, right there. So yeah, it would be easy just to walk out there and go straight over the dune. No one's gonna care. Look at the exterior. roof. You do get a little snippet of a sound view right in here. But yeah, this it looks like new siding. It's not. Don't let it fool you. It has been power washed or cleaned. Deck rails aren't in bad shape. Just they're wearing. I don't feel like I'm in danger on the deck. That's always a good thing. 
and the fireplace in this is for looks only at the moment. It is non-functional according to the MLS sheet. All right, that's the tour of the funky little octagon house here in Salvo. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask a question, reach out anything you want to know about it. I'm happy to provide that information. Again, my name is Susie Schulten, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video.